I do want to say this, my FL Studio video, if my actual voice was in FL Studio and you could hear what I was doing with the effects, it would be 10 times better, and I'm pissed about that. I had so many good live freestyles, like really good ones. Hello and welcome. As you can see, my face is not in the best condition. Let's get into the my phone. Today we're going to be doing how to master your song in Logic. And the reason I have beginner in the title is because I'm a beginner. And maybe we'll have a three-part series where we'll go like beginner, easy, medium, hard. Or because I just watched a video by Sean Devine recently, I kind of copied his whole chain on mastering. I'm going to put it in my own words and try to read do it from a newcomer's perspective. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe, notification bell as well, so you never miss a video that I post, even though every time I post, it's one day later than the previous one. My description down below is chock full of sweet things, I gotta put out new preset packs, and they're gonna be way better than my previous ones. Anyway, mastering your song in Logic Pro X. Let's get in the video. With these videos, what I like to do is get the Logic loops in there, basically got the hesitation strings with a little regrets beat. We have my Kid Leroy So Done presets that I use, because I use them in everything. And then for one of the vocals, I have a distortion on it to get a little weekend, weekend vibe. I added some distortion to make my vocals sound good. Anyway. So basically what you want to do to master is have your mix already ready, and then from there you go into the master. So from this video, I have it already ready. I just have to record some vocals and then hop right into the mastering track. So let's do that real quick and have a good time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I was in the back, in a writing in my office Bitches on my d and they telling me to stop this I was playing music in the back, in the chimney Santa told me, baby, can you come and let's get with me Santa I got a white claw in my heart White claw in my hand I wanna see you in the morning In the early light, I want you all day Snacks for you, I got some chips all on the floor And I got babies making soup I got babies in the back I said I got babies in the back Got babies in the back And I know what to say Baby on the floor is My GPA Is 0.5 Remember that one? Hey, we recorded what we had to record. Now, what we can do, bring out the mastering track. So basically pretend that we have created our tracks, and we've made our song, and we mixed it. I, I don't like the word dick. Stop. Dick. Okay, so what we're gonna do, go here, and I could be wrong off rip right now, and I'm gonna do this under the output one, two. There's this one track, I think it's the stereo out or something. It's blank, and I have it saved. I'm gonna bring it up, master track ah i'm gonna bring all the plugins to here all right so like i said i copied sean divine's video and the reason i did that is because i don't know what the hell to do you know so what i'll do go by what he said and talk about it in my own words from perspective of someone who has no idea what's going on so you want to have it in this master area which looks like this it's i guess it's this purple one or pink one and it's next to the one that says master actually so the first plugin we want to go to is a multimeter this is how you meter yourself this isn't an effect itself but what it does is it keeps track of your levels of sound you'd set this one to minus nine and then this one to uh minus eight because that's what like professional levels are and then have this at true peak and rms with that on we'll play it and you'll see what it's doing i was in the back in a writing in my office bitches on my and they tell them Stop this. We want these levels to be reaching these yellow bars. So to do that, we're going to start off by going into the first plugin, which is a linear EQ or an irregular EQ, whatever you want. We're going to do a channel EQ for this one because linear EQ makes it harder to talk. So what you have here is everything going on I as you play it. We want to take away some bad sounds, some muddy sounds that are still there. Back in a right in Stop this. Cut it off at 30. If there's any undesirable sounds down there, we take them out. Because a master isn't really editing too much. It's just polishing it. So, whatever. Next, we have what we call a graphic EQ. This is in the same uh, area as the EQ, vintage EQ collection. I usually use the console EQ. With this graphic EQ, I saw that it was good. So, stereo. And when you're in it, we want to focus on these two high-end areas. The 8K and the 16K. And the drive as well. Once again, completely copying someone's video. But I'm going to try to do it the best that I can. I'm going to play it. We're going to change some buttons and see what the sound happen I was in the back in a writing in my office bitches on my and they tell me to stop this me to stop this I was in the back in a writing in my office bitches on my well, like I said, this is a beginner video for me. If I mess up, just know I'm a beginner, you know? And then we have the output model that's smooth. Um, and then after setting these, I have this one at 2.3 and 1.5. That's because with the way my track is, it sounded good to me. Needed some more high, so I added it. The drive, I'm not sure what it does. Let's find out. I was in the back, in a writing in my office. 
office, bitches on my- We'll go 4.5 because it sounded cool there. What this does to me is it makes it more like thick. So you already heard what that sounds like completed. So next we're going to a multi-presser. You already know Dynamics multi-presser stereo because everything here is stereo. Remember that. So when we go inside of it, we're only focusing on the 15K and up area. That is where some undesirable ear piercing sounds will be residing. So you're going to drag this out to 15K so or type it in here. And what we did was by using this threshold meter here. I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my and they tell me to stop this. We just pull it down to negative 36, basically. That's uh, going to compress any harsh sounds like that and then make the ratio really high to 30. Double click, you can change it. Once again, copying someone else's tutorial. You can look at the output, too. I was in the back and I'm writing. Okay, minus two work for me. Just make sure it doesn't peak, because that'll ruin everything. Close it. You already heard it play, so let's go to the next one. Exciter. I use this in my chains as well. Um, this is a crispy plugin. It's specialized Exciter stereo. And now that we're in it, let's see what the frequency does. I have it at 7,500 at plus seven, but... I was in the back, and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my... And they telling me to stop this. Bitches on my... And they telling me to stop this. I was in the... See, it's, it's also making my voice sound a little different as I talk, because it's the whole track, remember? Plus 8%, and you can pick whatever color you want. I don't know what they do. Next, we have a spreader. Now, anytime I made a mix in my previous time, when I listen to real songs and then the songs I make, the position of my voice is different. It's usually, like, in the lower middle area instead of, like, up and wide, like a lot of songs are. If that makes any sense. It's from the video I watched, he said that the stereo spread can help you. It's not the best plugin for it, but it can help you. Because watch, imaging, stereo spread, stereo. And what I never knew is if it's in the master track, it's just taking control of the whole song, not just your vocals. So when you have the stereo spread up, what you want to do is make the lower frequency about 2000 to 20,000. Keep the order the same. And if you have these at zero, what you can do is play it. And then you want to make them equal, but you want to raise each one as it's going. So I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my, I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my, and they tell them Stop this. Eight and eight, it adds a little bit to spread it around, but it's not too much to drastically change or ruin it. So I like that one. So we'll do that. And next we have a bit crusher. And I don't even know what that does. So the bit crusher we just found on distortion bit crusher stereo. What it did, uh it kind of makes you just a little thicker and wider again, you know? <laughs> <coughs> Set these to 100% mix, down sampling one times, uh 24 bit resolution. If it's not a 24 bit resolution, you kind of sound like the drive, uh, you know what the drive does already, you know what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching our destination. I'm horny. And then clip level, you want to make it below zero. So I have a minus 0.2, below zero, like a freezing temperature. That just makes sure it doesn't peak over zero. You're not going to get any uh, distorted sounds and make it clip mode. Even though this plugin is basically for distortion, uh, it works this way well. Let's play it. I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my and they tell me. Stop this. Now this plugin is a little out there. I've never used it. I want to start using it because it's pretty sweet. Multi effects, fat effects, stereo. And this is what I sound like when I turn it on. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, but basically with this, you want to basically turn everything off except for distortion, bass enhancer, master, and then that's it. Zero, 100%. Type warm, 18%, 50 hertz. Completely copy that. Distortion, soft saturation is the only one you want to use in the middle. Zero, zero, 7%. Or we can talk like this and see what it does. I was in the back. We'll keep it at nine because it was getting a little crazy. Now, what's it sound like? I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Finally, is an adaptive limiter. What that's gonna do is allow you to raise any volumes that you need to raise to finalize it. You might not even need it, so we bring it over. Adaptive limiter I've used before, Dynamics Adaptive Limiter Stereo, and within it, you can set the out at negative 0.2. All you have to do is put it below zero, and it won't clip above. Look ahead, I just hit apply, and it made it 20. And the gain for me right now is 2.1, but you can bring up the multimeter you had and play it and see if the levels of your song are reaching the yellow bars that you set. I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my and they tell me to stop this. It's not reaching it and also it's getting a little distorted. So I made the out ceiling minus one and I put on true peak detection. I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my and they tell me to stop this. What am I doing wrong? Let's see what a compressor will do. And I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my and they tell me to stop this. Dude, I don't know. But this is what it sounds like naked and with it on. So, like this. I was in the back and I'm writing in my office. Bitches on my and they tell me to stop this. I hope that made sense. So look at the unmaster. I mean, hey, it doesn't look too bad. And then the same one. Look at it. As you can see, the unmastered one doesn't really take up all the space. And the mastered one is just kicking it with all the space. So we'll play both and see what it sounds like. 
and they telling me to stop this. I was playing music in the back, in the chim. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Well, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned something as well. And if you didn't, cool. Anyway, yeah, um, that is my first attempt at mastering a song. And I did it by copying someone else's video. Next video, I'm gonna do it completely alone. And we'll see what I can do and see what I can figure out. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, notification bell as well. And also, my description down below is chock full of sweet things you should check out. Drop a like down below, leave a comment, tell me what I should do, what I should do next. I've neglected the comments the past two videos. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me. This has been a crowd about how to master your song beginner mode and Logic Pro 10 is only stock plugins. Like always, we out.